president. The first lady now headed to Atlanta for the opioid conference down there. Sandra. Joining us now, Tennessee Congressman Mark Green, who serves on the Homeland Security Committee. Congressman, you were listening to the words of the president there. He said, I've been the most transparent president, just went through the Mueller witch hunt, no collusion, no obstruction. He continued to make his case why he's going to fight this subpoena from House Democrats. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty crazy, Sandra. And thanks for having me on the show, by the way. I mean, when Ranking Member Jordan reached out to Klein on the Oversight Committee, he was more than willing to come and, and testify and, and talk to the committee. And then Chairman Cummings just issues a subpoena just to poke the president in the eye. I mean, this is just a massive leveraging of the legislative branch against the executive branch. Nearly every single committee chairman, Democrat committee chairman, is investigating some aspect of the president. You look at ways and means. They're looking at uh, his taxes, the, the finance services. They're looking at Deutsche Bank. Oversight is looking at Mr. Klein. Uh, Judiciary is looking at McGahn. Intel's looking at collusion. I mean, this is a ridiculous abuse of power. They're basically leveraging the legislative branch against the executive branch. And the real issue is, just like the president said in, in the uh, copy you played earlier, this is about opportunity costs. I mean, the majority Democrat Party has nothing to show for what they've been there. You know, they've been in charge now for months and nothing to show for it. The president wants to talk, you know, immigration. Even Senator McConnell said, let's, let's do immigration. We can get this done. And they, they just want to keep investigating the president. For them, it's 2020 talking points, and that's it. Dr. Bennett made a similar point earlier on. He said, you know, while president uh, while de the Democrats are sticking with this message of investigate, the president, he's down there heading down to Atlanta to fight the opioid crisis. He's touting the strength in the economy. He's talking immigration every day. Uh, the big question is how are Democrats going to put all this in 2020? What we also just heard from the president, uh, he said Democrats are just trying to win in 2020. The only way that they can luck out, he said, is by constantly going after me. Do you expect... Democrats to continue down this road all the way through the election. Yeah, I absolutely do. I mean, the president, uh, you know, to put it in his words, is winning and America is great again. All of these awesome things that he cited, you know, taxes, regulations, uh, the work with China, the new NAFTA agreement. Uh, the, the, the work with North Korea. I mean, he is he is making stuff happen. He's leading for the American people and all they've got. All they've got is just to keep dredging up these investigations. It's ridiculous. It's unfortunate. Um, I had hoped that Speaker Pelosi and the leadership of the Democrat Party would say, okay, let's get one win in before, you know, the big election cycle starts, maybe with immigration, maybe infrastructure. But no, I mean, they're just uh, doing more investigating. And, and I think it's a huge, I think they're going to pay the price for this at the polls. I just bet. All of those Democrats who are in seats that Trump won are shaking in their boots every time Maxine Waters opens her mouth. I mean, and, and Adam Schiff and all of them. Those committee chairmen, when they say something, those Dems who are in Trump seats, mm. they're scared to death. Congressman Green, as you've been speaking there, the Marine One has touched down Joint Base Andrews as the President and the First Lady will, will soon board Air Force One on their way down to Atlanta uh, for this summit on the opioid crisis. Congressman Mark Green, appreciate your time and for joining us on America's Newsroom this morning.